yard sale. What month is it gonna be? God, it's gonna be October already? Where'd this year go? Anyway, this is the yard sale video. Wanna um, do an announcement, because I always do it at the very end and no one stays. If you become a $10 patron, you get into a private swap meet with other people who are currently and have been $10 patrons. Just in case you wanted to know that. That's like a, like a little secret thing that no one knows about. But now you know about it, the beginning of a video, so that's great. This yard sale, 12, I would say 12 items, but it's more than that because I'm clustering a lot of the um, dongles that we played with yesterday or two days ago. We're going to start on the left, move to the right. We've got the Phaetons. These were the Bluetooth noise-canceling headphones. And I'm like, hey, all the other companies, why can't you just make a nice one like, like the Phaeton? The 900 Legacy. Carbon fiber, all like big touch controls. It was good. They sounded good. They were beautiful packaging. But I don't use them. So, yard sale. Bluetooth. Active noise canceling. The um, Earmin TR amp, which is, looks like I've been touching it a lot. This was and is the best little handheld amp, although I don't think you're going to push it on your phone. I mean, look at the sizes, chonker. So this would be great if you just want to have a desktop DAC amp, and you're just like, I don't want to spend a lot, so pay $5, join the Patreon, or subscribe star, put it a bid, if you win, I ship to you for free in the content of the United States, half shipping international. That's how this works, by the way. Fucking cock ring. No one's strapping that to their phone. Um, yeah, if you're a patron of mine or a subscribe star subscriber and the $5 or higher tier, you get to bid on any of these items, by the way, in case you don't know what's going on. Um, and if you're international uh, and they have to ship you this set of Duno EST-112s, still in the original packaging, because I got two of those. If you want these and you win and you're in Bangladesh, when you bid $74.97, you pay that and then you pay half the shipping for whatever the hell it takes to get it to Bangladesh. If you're in Ohio... You just pay seventy four ninety seven. By the way, don't bid. I mean, you could bid seventy four ninety seven. If someone bids seventy four ninety seven and wins these, because I said seventy four ninety seven over and over again, that's amazing. But yeah, no, things usually sell for under retail. People always ask how much should I bid ZS. Well, here's the thing: if you're in the U.S. and I'm paying for shipping, it's fine. If someone really wants the hideous S nine Pro and you can't get it in your country, they're going to bid the full price of the S nine Pro. So it's sort of a crap shooting on who's bidding on what, who wants where, what, when, how. By the way, um, uh, S9 Pro Balance Stack Amp. This turned out, you know, because I did that whole video two days ago. I didn't actually look at the prices. I had a rough estimate. This is the most expensive one of the of the group. I thought it sounded good, but I don't know if it, oh, I don't think it sounded as expensive as it needed to be. The THX Onyx. Um, I have two of these. I'm keeping one. This one's going in the yard sale. I do think it's the cleanest dongle DAC that's ever been. Not necessarily the best sounding to my ears, but oh my god, is it impressive in what it can accomplish. So if you'd like to get hold of one of these for way less than retail, or way more than retail, but in Antarctica, feel free to join my Patreon subscribe share and bid on that. The Miltra. Now this tube amp, um, Polish in origin, and digital, uh, digital volume, and beautifully clean and simple, and you look at the bottom and it's got the serial number, this is number 10004. I'm selling this because I have so many DAC amps or, or tube amps below and above it, and I'm like, this. I'm never going to use this consistently. However, one thing, I'm not shipping it in the original wooden box because I'm keeping that. I will take the styrofoam out of it and make sure it's wrapped around the thing and fine and pack it in a cardboard box. You get that, and you get a complimentary set because World's Best was like, hey, here's a bunch to give away. Here's a complimentary set of World's Best RCA. Since this is just an RCA amp, you get their little... RCA, I don't know which ones, these are Amphenols? Yeah, they're Amphenols. So you get a set of those with your Miltra amp with the stock tubes and no wooden box. Just wanna make sure they were clear on that. I have another purpose for the wooden box, it's mine. Mine, this uh, was sent to me a long time ago and I never actually got into it. It is the Hookverse, which is a wireless set of IEMs that lets you record audio through it and also listen to audio. So you could like go to a concert and supposedly record. I just, I don't have the, I don't, I don't, I don't. And I never did, but I, I said I would, but I didn't. And you can look it up at hookaudio.com. And if you, here's, this is their advertisement. This is better than their review. Um, I never really had a purpose for this. I wasn't going to do sound demos with it. I really didn't go to concerts enough to care that I was recording things. But maybe if you want to do some binaural recording, actually with the GoPro on my head, it would have to be the GoPro on my head and then I have to record with these and then mix it in post, too much work. So anyway, if you'd like to buy these Hookverse, 
hook verse. Um, I guess it just that's it. Is this called the hook verse? Works on the iPhone 6S Plus also. They're not that old, but yes, works there. These, these are the not Grados that I got from AliExpress. They weren't that expensive, um, but they're sitting around. And now that I have uh, the Shippabo, Zeos will link not in the for sale thing, but now that I have the Shippabo thing, I don't really need to keep these around. Although it is a marvelous example of what you could do if you actually just, you know, designed it properly. I'm um, giving you the stock pads. I put it all back together. I will include this, which is one of the DD Hi-Fi MQA dongles with it. And it comes with the bag and the wire. And here's the beautiful wire. It actually comes with a beautiful wire. In fact, I'm going to plug this. Someone explained to me the shape of this, this eye shape in a tube. And it's like a lymph lymphocyte or something. I'm like, I'm never remembering that. That was literally an hour ago and I forgot it. So yeah, thank you for telling me what that shape is, but I will never remember. So I'm gonna put that in the bag. It's got this little bag with a quarter inch adapter and such. I'll put you in the bag and we'll ship this to anywhere you want. And at least you know they work. When you order it from AliExpress, it's kind of like, eh. This is back in. Um, let me explain how the yard sales work. They end on the 10th. We get emails out 11th or 12th. The winners are announced you know, to them. And then by the 13th, 14th, people are like, oh good, I paid, or I didn't really want that. Or they say nothing, which is even better, because then it goes to the 15th, 16th, and I'm like, hey, and then it moves over to the second place winner, which is like another three days. And by that point, I'm just, it's time for another yard sale. So I might as well give the people who bid on it another chance to bid on this again. Um, if you want the Duke Audio Phono Pre, here it is again. I actually found the box, I think. It's, I saw it with my eyes. And I didn't think to take it and put it next to this. So I might have the original box to put this back into. Maybe it's upstairs. Why am I thinking it's upstairs? Anyway, this is the little uh, phono, not phono, my bad. Uh, it's a tube pre. It has a headphone out. It's not that great. The, well, the headphone out's okay if you don't use the DAC, but people mostly use this to plug in RCA and output to speakers or another headphone amp and use the tubes and you have bass and treble controls. I did a review of it. It was nice. It actually performed once I ignored the fact that it had a DAC. Boom. This stack. Here's a little stack for you, and I have the original boxes for this. This is a Sabaj. Where's there's light? There's light somewhere. Sabaj A20D and A20H. That means that this is the DAC and headphone amp with the weird ass plugs um, and remote control. So this stack, if you want, it has I2S, optical USB. You have to provide your own XLRs because World's Best didn't send me a pile of like short ones. But Actually, a relatively like, like it's a good enough DAC that I'm like, okay, it's worth probably that four hundred dollars they want to spend. Wow, I really need to dust down here more. Um, but that's why I'm selling them because they're just collecting dust. And then the headphone amp was actually really nice, just weird. And I don't like the displays, like the blue, the giant blue things. I'm not, I'm not down for that. This pile of everything that I reviewed dongly. That wasn't like, except for the Ico, the Ico with the extra good cables, this turns out to only be 60 bucks. And I didn't even get into the fact that it has multiple um, sound modes. Like I totally, cause I just didn't look it up. I'm like, I fucking just have to do 12 of these things. It has sound modes, multiple like gaming sound modes. You hold buttons down. It doesn't say it anywhere on the actual outside. Oh, there it goes. Music, movie, and something else. So yeah, hi-fi, gaming, music, and movie models, which will do. I had it on hi-fi, which makes the most sense. Love the way this thing sounds, but for that price, shit, I'll buy another one if I want to review it again. Um, this is all one, by the way. So you're just getting all dongle DAC. I'm going to list it in the description as all the extra dongle DACs, minus the one I'm including with that. We've got the Hideous one here, the DH80. This thing's worth some money. I don't have the player. We have a, if you have a Hideous player that'll snap in that, that's great. I'm going to include the Ico, which uh, is for lightning. Also, someone said that the USB-C one is now out, which makes sense because it's been like a year and a half. But if you wanted to try this one on your iPhone, boom, you snap that in, you clip it on, you then have a USB-C charging port for your iPhone and a three and a half millimeter and a two and a half millimeter out. Um, I'm including all of these things, the little, the T-Junction DD Hi-Fi, this one that didn't sound very good with the wire that's also lightning. So that, you get that whole pile, bid on that pile, pile a dongle, dong pile, dong pile. Then 
the Swan D1080 Mark IIs. Now, I did those two Swans. The M200 Wi-Fi's are now my back channels and my surround sound, if you didn't watch that video. But these are the better desktop ones, where you put them on your desk and you just let them massage your face. And I have the original box for these, and these can go in the yard sale, because I have so many things massaging my face and not enough desks. I don't have enough desks to massage my face. I've got, and besides, I'm starting to, starting to stack up, starting to stack up speakers here. Time to get them out, get them out, get them out. They're good, but get them out. So the Swan D1080 Mark II's uh, dong pile or pile of dong, uh, the P1, the Sabaj stack. I'm selling that as a stack. I'm not separating those. The Hookverse, the Not Great O's, the S9 Pro, the THX Onyx, the Miltra tube amp without a box, the EST-112, the Earman TR amp, and the Phaeton. That's your yard sale. Um, go to the links in the description or in the pinned comment, click on it, read the rules, click the link, put down as many bits on as many things as you want. $69.99, $69.99, $69.99, 60, on all of them, and then if you, people have done that and won like three things. They just pick an average price and just go through and say, ah, oh, fuck it. And they win three and they're like, oh shit, I only want two of them. And then I have to do that thing where I do the second person and it takes days. It is, um, oh, you know what? Also hard drive, hard drive, another five terabyte hard drive of all my Zio stuff. Cause I need to get those things out there before I forget. This is a five terabyte Seagate. That's what it was last time. A five terabyte Seagate with all my videos and sound demos, all the ones that are missing. Um, I can't include any music, obviously, but uh, cooking videos, unboxings, whatever you want me to sort of squeeze into it, I can't fit all of it because it has more than five terabytes worth of life on this channel. But I will give you whichever bias that you want all cooking videos or you want all the unboxings for whatever reason you want those, but mostly reviews and sound demos. I can give you a direct copy of all of my stuff so that you have no YouTube compression, you have no cuts, you have no fucking risk of it disappearing. And if you don't like my stuff and you just want a five terabyte hard drive, delete it, wipe it, whatever. However, if like the world catches fire and I'm like, hey, I lost all my stuff, do you have it? I may come a call on. That's it, so that's 13 now, damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 is the hard drive filled with Zeo shit. Um, maybe wallpapers too, in case you don't want to pay to be a patron. Although you're paying to be a patron, so you get into the wallpaper archive anyway. Which, all the wallpapers I've ever used are in a giant folder if you just want to have the convenience of downloading them. Otherwise, you can go through individually and find their artists and such like that. Dust. Anyway, that's it for today. I've been Zeos Pantera. That wallpaper is available in the description of this video. Um, yeah, hi-fi guides, hi-fi forums, hi-fi guides forums. See you at Can Jam New York, probably. I feel like that's gonna be a thing. I feel like I'm I'm almost ready to actually like be in a space. I probably won't wear anything. I'll just show up and like hang out with people with like a fucking hula hoop on, or like a pokey stick. Get the fuck away from me. Anyway, that's all. Regular reviews start in two more days. Don't forget to check out the Sandoma channel, which will have the reviews on it. Um, that's also linked somewhere in the description. And I'm done for today. I'll see you later.